Hello grade threes. This week we will continue with our Bible theme um, from the book of Genesis. And you'll remember that last week we spoke about Genesis 1 and 2, where we spoke about how God um, created the earth and all living things on the earth and how he created man. So he made people and he made Adam and then he made Eve. So now we're going to be looking at Genesis 3, which is called the fall of man. And we're going to explore why it's called that. So when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, that is why it's called the fall of man, because they disobeyed God in the garden. And this is when Adam and Eve ate the forbidden fruit in the garden. So God told Adam and Eve that they may not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, or they would die. So it was a special tree in the middle of the garden that God said, please don't eat of this tree. You may have of anything in the garden, just not this tree. However, Satan, who was disguised as a snake, told Eve that she should eat from the tree, because if she does, she will be like God and know the difference between good and evil. So Satan tricked Eve in the garden and made her believe that it's okay for her to eat the fruit of this tree, because she will then be like God and she'll know a lot of things. Eve saw that the fruit looked very good to eat and decided to have some and share it with Adam. They soon realized that they did not have clothes on in the garden and they were very ashamed. It means they were very embarrassed. So they used leaves to cover themselves and they tried to hide away from God. Because obviously in the garden, um, God made them perfect. He didn't make them with clothes and things like that. But because of the, the fruit that they ate, they started to see the difference between um, good and evil and, and how they started to realize things in the garden. And um, this then made them ashamed that they had no clothes on. God called for Adam and Eve, but they hid away, as they now knew they were not wearing clothes, and they were obviously ashamed and, and embarrassed. So God asked Adam if he had eaten from the tree, and he told God that he had eaten the fruit because Eve told him to. God was very upset that they disobeyed him, because they didn't listen to him. He punished the snake and told Adam and Eve that they would need to leave the garden. God placed a burning sword at the entrance to the garden to stop anyone from entering. So God told Adam and Eve they need to leave the garden. They're not allowed to be in the Garden of Eden now. And um, there was like a guard with a fire or burning sword at the entrance so that nobody could enter into the, the garden. So let's have a look at what we learned from this. So the first thing we need to know that God's word is still the way we should live our lives and we should resist temptation. So it doesn't matter what comes across our path. If we know it's wrong and it goes against the Bible that God has given us, then it's a temptation. It's a bad thing. And we should rather listen to what God's word in the Bible tells us to do and not follow these bad things that want to lead us to do the wrong thing. Secondly, sin is a choice. So like Adam and Eve, we choose to sin, even in a perfect environment. So Adam and Eve were in this beautiful, perfect garden. They had everything they needed and God was there with them. But they made a choice to eat the fruit and to sin and go against God, even though they had everything they needed. And we have the same choice. God gives us everything we need. We just need to, we need to pray, we need to speak to God, and we need to ask Him for those things. And we need Him to show us what is important in our lives and the things that we need. And when we choose not to, do, to listen to that and, and to rather do things in our own way, then we, we are tempted by the worldly things that we have. And this is usually where we make mistakes or we, we choose to have our sins committed. And thirdly, we are punished or have hard times because of sin and not because God wants to punish us. So we bad things might happen or hard times might come our way, um, not because God is trying to punish us or, or be nasty to us, but it's because of the sins we chose, because of the things we've chosen wrong in this world, because of like what Eve was tempted by the snake. We are tempted in the world and sometimes we choose the wrong things and we make a mistake. And that can make life difficult for us because sometimes there are consequences for our choices. Um, 
And lastly, the most important is God has promised to give us a way not to suffer for our sins. We need to ask God for forgiveness and mean it, but also try to change the bad things we do. So all is not lost. It's not the end of the world if we do commit a sin or if we are tempted by the wrong things and we make a mistake and we commit a sin because Jesus paid the price on the cross for us. We have already been forgiven for those things we're going to do wrong. But we need to go and say to Jesus and God, you know what, I'm very sorry for what I did. And we need to really mean it and make sure we try not to do those things again and try to learn from those things.